Thick bro? You still up studying late? My name is Kento Miyoshi. While staying up late doing schoolwork, my sister, Airi, curiously peeked from behind. She's younger and just turned grade 6 this year. At the moment, the clock's a bit past midnight, but I was still wide awake. Airi, going to bed early will help you grow taller. So how about we get some shut-eye? But Big Bro should already sleep too. Yep, Big Bro's gonna sleep in a little while. You go ahead first. Sweet dreams, Airi. Okay, good nighty. Sweet dreams, Big Bro. Truth be told, our family's really poor. Dad was a drunkard. Top this story off, he passed away four years ago, leaving behind a large amount of debt. Compensating for these was really hard. Mom had to squeeze in doing part-time work even though she's a full-time employee already. She had her hands full each day, toiling from day up till night night. That's why I'm pouring all my best into my studies and hope to at least make life a little easier for both Irie and Mom in the future. Currently, I'm dishing out my best studying for all those things' sake. I'm doing all my best back at home. On the other hand, here at school... Miyoshi, you still working on your studies during lunch break? There's this nosy girl who always pesters me. She's Sachi Komori. And as her parents handle conglomerates of companies, you've guessed it, she's one rich, spoiled daughter. You could say she's really pretty, but as you can see, her attitude is just simply insufferable. I got into this private high school as a scholarship student. However, she isn't keen on this and just brushes this off, saying things like, this place isn't suited for poor people, or something similar to that. Wow, things are poor is really downer, huh? I mean, working your wits off just so you could stay here? Oh my. Komori, can I get that back? Like, if you really want it back, how about you go ahead and try? <sighs> Look here, you really have a lot of free time on you, I get it. What? So, right now is lunch break, our free time. You still choose to pester me each and every time. I mean, that tells a lot, really. Yeah, maybe you're just bored and have nothing else to do. At least that's what I think. You're getting it all wrong. Don't lump me together with you. Plus, we're not on the same level. I got lots of friends I can talk to. Teasing, talking to a pathetic and loser, loner, is, um, like doing you a favor. What the hell's that condescending tone? Righto, my bad, sorry. I'll do just fine. You can go ahead and chat with your other friends, so if you keep standing right there, you'll be the one left alone, you know? Ugh, you don't need to tell me that. Huh, I'm going. I guess being a bit prideful comes hand in hand with someone who's rich. That's why you'll see her merrily walk away just by pushing her buttons right. Either way, that girl's usually slacking off all day. Is she gonna be fine in the future? If you ask my opinion, I think that the future holds nothing for someone who doesn't give their best at the present. The present holds the key to one's future. What you sow now, you'll reap in the future. Same goes for the skills we currently hone. Playing and just slacking off every single day? I wonder what the future has in store for her. After a few years passed, I'm now currently in charge of handling my own company. I've been investing in stocks, whipping up trades involving the foreign market, and making capital gains since back then during college. The company's now sought out by the best talents, those outstanding employees. The company's growth just continues to skyrocket. Now we're even able to compete with even the biggest of companies. Big bro, heads up. Your meeting is starting soon. I read, didn't I tell you to refer to me as president while working? I mean, it's just the two of us here, so it should be fine. Forget that, hurry up. Back then, Irie was all adorable and cute. However, she's now my secretary. Bit cheeky too, if you ask me. All that being said, that side of her is kind of sweet, though. Oh, by the way, big bro. Yep, is something wrong? There's someone you met back in high school that wants to speak with you. Huh? Someone from high school? But I thought I didn't have much friends back in high school. <laughs> like, wasn't your high school the go-to place for company big names? And as such, those really affluent and their kids. So just saying, they probably saw how our company's doing well and wanted to establish some connections, right? Yeah. Those jerks back then really picked and looked down on me. 
What makes you think they go all the way here? There's no way. What was their name again? Oh, um, someone who went by Sachi Komori. Her? Sachi Komori? Why are you that surprised? Guess you wouldn't know as you're not into reading newspapers. But hey, secretaries usually research before and stuff like other companies' financial status background and all. Aren't you supposed to be doing this? Where are you going with this? Right, I really don't feel like reading them, but... Well, Komori's company? They lost their conglomerates and so went out of business two years ago. Really? Then would it be better holding off a meeting with her? Yeah, hmm. Here's the thing. There's a high chance we'll get ourselves into trouble, and I just don't want to bother with that. So that's how it is. But frankly, we somewhat know each other, so meeting her might not be that bad. We'll see. She really must be in trouble. Willing to go as far as to meet me, so... Ah, uh, not this again, big bro. Remember you do this, that, meddling and poking into others' affairs. You even got into a lot of trouble because of that during college. Now, now, don't say that. It's all thanks to this that our company's now here. I was an introvert back in high school. Still, that didn't hold me back from meeting all sorts of people. Then during college, I met and made a lot of friends. All those connections, friends, and people I met culminated to today's company. And yeah, meeting them involved a chain of messy, troublesome events that led to that, to won't even bother explaining. In the meantime, you can tentatively go ahead and prep things related to that and a lot of schedule for her. Because now, focusing on the company meeting regarding our operations is top priority, right? Sure thing. I'll work on this ASAP. Look here, Irie. Sulking really won't get through to me. And that attitude, really appreciate if you do something about that. Why? It's just the two of us here. No harm done, right? Oh, for Pete's sake. Cut me some slack. So, we're here now by the conference room. Watch my attitude do a complete 360. I tend to spoil her a bit. Iris, my sister, after all. She might not look like it, but Iris mature for her age. As such, I put a lot of my faith in her. And even a trusted work as my own secretary. After a few days, it's been a while, Kamori. So, what brings you here? A few years have passed since meeting her again. Kamori lost a lot of weight. Her semblance was now way different from that pretty girl back then in high school. Kamori now was donning on tattered clothes. So, uh, I have a favor to ask you, Miyoshi. A favor? So what kind of favor does the Haile Komori seek from someone like me? B big bro, it's weird seeing him talk like this, provoking someone on purpose. Does this mean he really hates her? Uh, I would like to borrow some money. Money? Didn't you throw insults to me back then? Like me being dirt poor? Or am I just hallucinating? Uh, as you say so, I did say real mean things to you during high school, but... I'm just really desperate for money, and... I'm here to ask a favor from a very successful entrepreneur like you, Miyoshi. Normally, I'd be more than willing to help, but let me see. Think about this. Would I be willing to lend money to someone who bullied and picked on me all throughout high school? How about this? I have a lot of rich friends. You could probably ask them to lend you some money, so... So, about that... Uh, hey, Reddy, somehow approached them for some favors, and, uh, I mean, severed ties with them. And like, so now you aren't that rich, they push you outside their inner circle, huh? Pros, no. Brother, are you being real tough on her? You don't have to pick on her that hard. Stay out of this, Irie. I'm having a serious talk with somebody. Got it. Well then, I'll get straight to the point. How much do you need? My debt's at $80,000, so I'd be really grateful if I can ask for $80,000. $80,000? Logically speaking, there's no way someone would lend such a huge sum of money. Not to mention, you currently don't look like someone who's capable of returning one, too. What are your parents doing? They abandoned me a year ago, leaving me all alone. After going bankrupt, they already knew paying such debts would be impossible. 
So they incurred these to her and simply ran away, huh? And I also lost my current job, lost my house, and I don't know what to do. As long as these debts aren't paid off, the interest just continues to pile up. Look now, isn't it a bit unfair you're bawling your eyes out right now? Seeing the state you're in, but still not lending money? Hey, you're making it seem like I'm the bad guy. Uh, okay, stop! Big bro, what's wrong with you? Obviously, asking somebody to lend you $80,000 is kind of unreasonable, but, I mean, saying something so heartless? This isn't like you! Need I remind you that I'm currently in a serious talk with someone? Lending such huge amounts of money isn't child's play. Or something you'll do over a lighthearted chit-chat over a friend. Uh, understood. Let's say we go ahead and lend you $80,000. Are you likely to return such amount of money? No. Then there's no reason to think why anyone would lend such money to you. Also, here's another point. You're asking for $80,000 to pay off your debt, which is at $80,000 too. How are you going to live with that? You don't even have a job to pay for those meaning you're left with no money to fund your daily expenses, correct? I suggest you drop that we'll make do with what we have kind of thinking. There's no way it'll be good in the long run. Still, that amount of debt is a huge sum. I can't help but think about it all the time. Plus, I'm already being chased by debt collectors, so... So the main question here is, let's say you have settled things with your debt collectors, even go back on your feet to sustain a living. But all of these result to you spending each day with a positive outlook on life? Uh? So, how is it? Well, probably. I think that would be the case. Very well. I've decided. I'll shoulder your debt. And then you'll be living in our house along with us. What? What? Big bro, honestly, what's going on? Have you lost your mind? Hyrie, just how skeptical are you? No, I mean, you've been really weird with your words and behavior this whole time, and even being like a completely different person at times. Like, capricious. Yeah, I kind of understand what you're saying, though. Um, Miyoshi, didn't you hate me? But even so, you're willing to help me? I really won't go as far as to say I hate you, but consider what I did earlier, being disdainful and heartless towards you, as payback for the things you did in high school. Guess we're now even. Plus, you've been through a really tough time enough. Guess even those around you had forsaken you. That's why it's all history now. I won't bring up things you did back in high school. You're willing to lend me $80,000 for just that? Um, I kind of know how it feels desperate being in a dire situation. You could say I'm no stranger to being poor and knowing money. Take note, this doesn't simply mean I'll lend you money, nor provide you a place to live in. Actually, my company's handling one of these, something related to managing content creators. We have a number of creators where their channel's subscriber count reaches millions. See, we're now in talks on how to launch a new fashion brand catering to them. Here's where you fit in. As you seem to know your stuff when it comes to trendy fashion, I'd like you to be part of our design team. Me? As a fashion designer, are you really going to shoulder my debt in exchange for this? Well, as long as your debt doesn't come with interest, working on them should be fine, right? With this, you can continue your daily job without any worries too, correct? And all these may as well be worth nothing if you're struggling to find a place to stay, hence our house. In other words, I want you to be able to focus on work without worries, as well as provide an environment where you'll be able to produce results. In return, yes, I need you to help with the housework too, in addition to the job I've just mentioned. Y you're really fine with just all that? Actually, I'm afraid you'll just end up feeling helpless with everything if I ask too much of you. This should be fine. Just try to be realistic here. Returning $80,000 might be difficult, but working on that without living in fear sounds a bit better, right? If you're really serious about returning those debts, I can teach you a thing or two about stocks and foreign investments. Plus, you can even learn from these creators something about video streaming. I'm just setting up an environment where you can thrive well. What happens after this? 
it's probably all up to you. In other words, I'm investing in you. An investment? I know how it feels being in complete despair. However, seeing you're still willing to fight back, I bet you'll be clawing your way up thoroughly. Well, just like me. Uh. After that, Komori told us she'll be camping out for today too, and exited the room. She seems to be really grateful for this. However, what lies beyond this, as I told earlier, all up to her. I hope this serves as an opportunity for her to change herself. Big bro, really, you're not being honest with yourself. It wouldn't hurt to drop off that sarcastic tone if you truly wanted to help her. Again, we're talking about a large sum of money here. I also need to stand my ground regarding this matter, right? There was no other way. So this Kamari, hmm, you like her? No way. She's someone I haven't met once after high school. See where I'm going with this? Really? Casually shouldering her debts? Even allowing her to come live together in our house? Am I missing something here? Pretty sure you're going after her, right? Like, her clothes were all raggedy and tattered earlier. And she's kind of attractive, you know. Well then, I see where you're trying to go with this narrative. Sorry to disappoint you, but the answer is a clear-cut no. Setting that aside, could you arrange me a lawyer? Just remember to scratch off the silly ramblings I said earlier. Really need to make sure Komori returns the money we lent her, and so should prep things in advance. Okie dokie, I got this. Remind you, we're not doing this for fun. I trust you on this? Cookies. A few hours later, Iri fetched Komori, who was then living in the streets and showed her to our house. She still seems reserved about having to live with us. Our priority was to make her feel comfortable as she's gonna live here together with us for a time. Plus, she was living all alone too. Probably had a lot of worries on her mind. That's why I thought of putting her together with the adorable, ever so cheery Iri in the same living space. I wanted her cheerfulness to cling on to Komori too. Ta-da! So here's your room, Sachi. All yours. Um, you're calling me by my nickname. I mean, we'll be living together. Calling you by your nickname should be best, right? Make sure to refer me as Iri too, okay? Uh, got you, Iri. So, first things first. You go ahead and take a shower. I'll lend you my clothes in the meantime. Then we'll head out to shop for your clothes. But I can't possibly ask for more. I'll handle all your expenses for daily necessities, as well as clothes. No need to sweat about it. Spending each day without new clothes is gonna be inconvenient, wouldn't it? But... No need to be modest about it. And hey, walking with those tattered clothes? So, um, that's gotta be really... yeah. Put it out, bro! So, yep. All jokes aside, you really don't need to be reserved about it. I mean, you'll be doing household chores in exchange for this, so... Um, I see. Thanks. Wow, he's totally changed, huh? Back then in high school, you'd probably never hear her less see her muttering a simple thank you. She was that arrogant. As things seem, being in despair really changes you down to the core, your personality, huh? And now knowing such hardships, she'll probably change for the better. Being a model employee, even being mindful of others. Since that, she also found time for studying aside from doing her usual job along with her household chores. She was studying design related stuff. Along with this, I also taught her how the stocks worked. Seeing Komori pour her best into all endeavors, she'll surely reap the rewards in no time. Half a year passed. After becoming accustomed to these now seemingly mundane days, one day... Komori, could you come here for a minute? Sure thing. Do you need help with something? Well, something like that. Hmm? Huh? We're heading out? Yep, we are. Hmm? Okay. Uh, sure. She seemed to have doubts as to why we were going out, but followed along without saying anything. We've been together most of the time for this past half year, and so it's safe to say we're good friends at the least. So, is something you needed me for, it's here? After arriving in front of this luxury resto, Komori had a puzzled look on her face and came to a halt. Well, I could kind of understand why she's confused, though. Now, now, go on! 
Huh? You're kind of pushing me. Um, Miyoshi? It'll be fine, I'm telling you. There, go ahead. That's how it went. Then Komori pushed ahead and went inside where... Sachi, happy birthday! Happy birthday. Huh? What's happening? Happy birthday, Komori. Look, birthday party all for you! Everyone remembered it was my birthday? Of course we did! Seeing you doing your best at work as well as household chores every single day? Thanks, really. You're always in charge of preparing the dishes, so this time, feel free to help yourself to the ones you want to try. Uh, uh, what? Wait, you're suddenly crying? Oh no! Big Bro made Sachi cry! <laughs> no, no, um, this one's... These are just tears of joy. I mean, <laughs> celebrating my birthday. I really never thought I'd be spending them with somebody since then. <laughs> and then getting all these celebrations from everyone. I'm just really touched, really. Jeez, so that's what it is. Sachi, see, we're like a family already. Obviously, you could at least expect to celebrate your birthday all together. <laughs> Ari, oh, thank you so much. And oh, you know, I can call you as a big sis from now on if you marry Big Bro, so... What? About that, like, I'd probably be just annoying to Miyoshi and... Yeah, um, I don't think you're annoying, not at all. Imagine living with someone on the same age, of the opposite gender, all together under the same roof. If anything, I'm far from being a saint and I never cared about such things. <laughs> I mean, should me and Mom go check someplace, even if it's just for a little while? So? Uh, uh, no, no, you don't have to do that. Jeez, Irie! Could you stop messing around? <laughs> my bad, my bad! Irie kind of teased us from time to time, but besides this, the party went off and ended without a hitch. Well, I caught glimpses of Kamori looking towards my direction in that, so... Uh, hey, uh, Miyoshi. After heading out of the resto, Komori somehow wanted to talk with me. Hmm? Something wrong? So, yep. <laughs> About that, uh, this birthday party. Thanks. Really, I'm so happy right now. No worries. It was us who wanted to celebrate in the first place, that's all. Uh, um, thanks. A and... It's something about what Ari said earlier, but the present me, uh, I really think you, Miyoshi, are a truly wonderful person, so... Uh... There you were, ready to extend your hand to someone like me. Plus, you were so nice, even taught me a lot of things. Seeing all these, I've fallen for you, Miyoshi! H however... I know I'm a sad excuse of a human being, a pathetic sore loser, so I swear to do my best in being a woman worthy of someone like you. That's why. Please, watch me as I do better. Komori. To tell you the truth, Komori already did change for the better. I think she's a woman simply wonderful the way she is right now. Of course, I can turn down all the things she just said right on the spot, but seeing her be resolute with such words... This one merits respect at the least. Yep. Wish you all the best. Okay. She nodded and seemed to pour all conviction into her heart. Witnessing all this, I'm sure she'll be just fine. Sachi, she's really working hard this day too, huh? Looks like it. Following that day, she held her promise. Amori now speaks at work with total confidence. Up till now, she knew the basics on how to handle things, but seemed to be reserved in doing so out of obligation. Moreover, I heard that she also held back in expressing her own opinions. Now, there's still room for improvement for her, but she's confidently wary of these and works on it. She's someone who's become a solid figure for our team. After five years... Pink bro! Sachi! I'm so happy for you two! Me and Komori, I mean Sachi, got married. While doing work, she's also been pouring all into managing stocks, as well as streaming. 
With this, she was able to repay the $80,000 back. At the same time, I got a confession from her and gave it a thumbs up, and finally proposed to her a year after that. Once burdened by utter despair and pouring all efforts to make a comeback, that's what she did. Seeing this kind Sachi, I vowed to cherish and make her happy for a lifetime. Kagura, can I talk to you for a second? Yes, I'm Ryota Kogura. I just turned 24, but I'm very busy every day working like a slave for my company. The person who just called me out is Yuka Shiraki, my boss, who's three years older than me. She climbed the ranks within the company quickly, has a cool personality, and has always been very strict. Did you review the documents? Yes, of course. I see. Well, you need to redo it. What? Uh, again? Yes, again. How many times do I have to teach you how to write a simple document? Bring me something that I can actually see. Uh, she's always like this. Maybe it's because she got promoted so quickly, but her expectations are ridiculously high. Many people couldn't take it anymore and asked to change departments because of her. Damn it. I'm going to make her acknowledge me! I was disappointed and worked really hard to redo the document. My current goal is to get recognized by her. I don't want to always be criticized like this. That night. Hey, are you still working? Oh no. I was thinking of going home soon. Oh, okay. Then do you want to get a drink? You don't have to work this weekend, right? G get a drink? Wait. I... I get it. She wants to yell at me over today's document. I didn't realize it until now, but I made her very angry. Okay. You can do whatever you want with me. Huh? Okay, so you can go. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I better prepare myself. I then got ready to leave in a hurry and went to Miss Shiraki. And when we got to the restaurant... My parents are so annoying asking me about when I'm going to get married all the time. Suddenly, Miss Shiraki started complaining. We did drink quite a bit. She must have been drunk. <laughs> I see. That must suck. But I think you would be able to find a great guy right away. There are no good guys, or we're incompatible. Oh, oh uh, she's pretty mad. I bet she has really high expectations. Miss Shiraki continued complaining. Apparently, her mother called her every day, asking when she was going to get married, and she was stressed. I listened to her complain for an hour, and when I had had about enough... Okay, then do you want to date me? I just made a joke. I wanted the conversation to end. It seems that I was drunk too, and I regretted it as soon as I said it. Um... D -d -d no uh, that was a... I guess we drank too much. Let's go home. Oh, uh, okay. Watching her demeanor, it seemed like she was going to let it slide. That made me breathe a sigh of relief, and I followed her out. Then for some reason, Shiraki paid for me. She never pays for me. How surprising. Um, thank you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's normal for a boss to pay for her employee. It's the first time she's paid for me, but... I guess she's acting like she always does? She doesn't seem to care. It's probably fine. That's what I thought. I've decided. Today after work, will you come with me? But on Monday... She started saying things I didn't understand. What? Like I said, I have somewhere I want you to go with me. You don't have to work late today. And she took me to... Your family home? It was Miss Shiraki's family home. No, wait! I want you to introduce yourself to my parents. That's what I thought, but... Why all of a sudden? When I was talking with my mom on the phone yesterday, she said she wanted to meet you. And, well, it's bound to happen eventually. Better sooner than later. Wait, no! This doesn't have to happen! I just remembered that- Yuka, you're here? Oh, is that- I had tried to leave, but I was a second too late. Miss Shiraki's mother had come outside. Apparently she had heard us talking. I can't leave now. What? <laughs> it's just, he looks exactly like I thought he would. 
the passive type. Whatever, who cares about that? Just don't say anything weird. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you, Sauta. I'm Yuka's mom. Oh, I'm Ryota Kogura. I've been in your daughter's care. <laughs> You're so nervous. That's cute. My husband will be home soon, so let's wait inside. With her permission, I went inside. I was nervous having to suddenly introduce myself to her parents, but her mother seems very nice. Maybe her father is nice too. If that's the case, I can explain what happened. What is this I hear that Yuka's brought home a man? What? Where? Where is he? Huh? What? No matter how you look at this guy, he looks like he's in the mob or something. Is it you? Did you lay your hands on my cute Yuka? Oh, uh, so... I... Dad, stop it. If you lay a hand on him, I won't forgive you. Fine! It's so unfair that you're using Yuka to protect yourself. I won't forgive you, boy! I haven't done anything wrong, though. Uh, father... Whose father? I don't remember becoming your father! How oh, troublesome. Dad, stop it! Or I won't talk to you anymore! He's gone quiet. I think he listens to Yuka. Oh! And from what I hear, Kogura, you were the one to talk to Yuka about marriage. Were you joking? Hey, this is... What are you talking about? He's a good person. There's no way he would ask me to marry him as a joke. What... what should I do? If I tell them I was joking, will they hurt me? But wait, I did talk about dating, but I didn't say anything about marriage! Kogura, I think you know, but if you do anything to hurt Yuka, you better be prepared, alright? Uh, of course! It's... it's no use. There's no way I could say it was a joke now! Even I'm not stupid enough to not read the room! And I know that I can't make enemies out of this family. After that, her mother let me eat dinner with them. But... You know, talking about getting married so soon can be stressful. Why don't you live together first? She gave us a good idea. I'm very thankful. That's true, you're right. It's better to live together first. And then, if I make Miss Shiraki hate me, she'll break off the marriage. But being hated by my boss is a little risky. Getting married would be riskier. That's what I thought. But- Mom, you were so annoying saying I have to get married. But now that I'm getting married, why are you getting in the way? But Miss Shiraki looked upset. Does this mean that she wants to get married more than she lets on? Afterwards, her mom smoothed things over so Miss Shiraki was less upset. But it was decided that we were going to live together right away. I'm... I'm coming in! The next day, after work, I went to Miss Shiraki's house. She was living alone in an apartment, and we were going to start living together today. But isn't everything moving too quickly? You can use this empty room. Okay, thank you. Your apartment is so big. Well, my dad won't let me live in a place unless it has good security, so... I ended up with this room. This is an expensive apartment. I wonder if her parents are rich. Which means... Her father probably really is a part of the mob. I've made dinner, but do you want to take a bath first? Oh no, I already took a bath at home. Okay, then let's eat dinner. And so, I followed Miss Shiraki to the kitchen. Mmm, it, it's... it's delicious. Everything Miss Shiraki made was as good as a restaurant. I'm surprised. I didn't think she could cook or clean at all. Hey, were you thinking something rude just now? Uh, uh, no way! You seem nervous. I don't trust you. You're overthinking things. <laughs> There's no way I would pick a fight with you. Hmm. What is it? Now that we're living together, you can call me by my first name. I'll call you Ryota too. Yeah, you're right. Can I call you Yuka? Oh. Her face is turning red. How cute. She's different than the Yuka I know at work. She's much cuter at home. If this is how it's going to be, living together might not be so bad. Then that night... Ryota, is it okay? Yuka? What is it? When I was about to go to sleep, 
Yuka came to my room. She was holding a pillow. A pillow? Wait, she's holding a pillow. Does that mean... Um, since it's the first night we're living together... Ah, I knew it! For a second, I thought I was dreaming. But as she came closer, I could tell by her breathing and the feeling of the bed beneath me that this wasn't a dream. I think it's a little too soon for that, right? Do you want to sleep together? I don't think it's a problem if we're living together. Well, you might be right about that, but... Isn't she a little too forward? I can't imagine sleeping with Yuka. Uh, come on in! Of course I want to! Just like the saying, rejecting the advances of women is a man's shame. I think I have to respond appropriately to her invitation. Besides, I was just happy to do so. I knew it! Yuka at home is very cute! <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. You're saying that once you're in the bed? Well, it's not like I regret it, but it is a little weird. I think she's nervous. Everyone is nervous their first time. My heart is about to explode. I don't think we have to rush things. Why don't we take our time and get to know each other? I felt like Yuka was rushing things for some reason, so I told her what I thought. We started living together before getting to know each other, so of course we don't know how to be with each other. So I think we should slowly proceed. What's up? Why are you so calm? What, have you done this before or something? What? No. I've never even had a girlfriend before. Okay, then that's fine. Huh? Does she seem happy? I don't really understand, but Yuka's voice sounds happy. Well, it's not like she's scolding me, so that's good. And a little time passed. We had run out of things to talk about, and were laying there quietly. It's really awkward. Hey. It, yeah? What's up? If I'm being honest, I'm really happy being here with you. I've... had a crush on you. What? What are you talking about all of a sudden? If I'm not honest now, I don't think I ever will be, so... So I'm telling you now. Uh, but there's nothing about me that would make you like me. Like, it wouldn't be weird if you hated me. If I hated you, I wouldn't live with you. Or talk about marrying you. Well, that's true, but... But you were always getting on me about work. What? You thought I hated you? Yes! No, it's the opposite! I expect a lot from you. That's why I was hard on you. What do you mean? When I got on your case, you always turned in better work. So I made sure to be strict with you so you do better. It... it was on purpose? Of course. And you have guts. Whenever I was strict with other employees, they would immediately request a transfer. But you didn't run away. So I expected a lot from you. Oh. If that's the case, couldn't you be a little nicer? Don't you think you were a little too hard on me? Well, what was I supposed to do? I've never managed someone before, so I couldn't help it. So I just did what people did to me while I was in school. And when I just started working. I've heard that in sports, coaches will purposely be hard on players they expect great things from. She probably always had people expect a lot from her. But you're pretty awkward, aren't you? Hey, are you making fun of me? You're making fun of me, right? No, it's just... You seem more relatable now. Until now, you've seemed perfect. So it's nice to know your human side too, or whatever. I knew it. You're picking a fight with me, right? I'm fine if we get up right now and start fighting. No, no, I'm not picking a fight with you. Wait, what kind of fight are you talking about? I'll leave that up to your imagination. Stop it! You're scaring me! I just really am happy that I can relate to you now. Really? Really. I respect you. Why would I make fun of you? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I can forgive you then. I guess she's forgiven me since I respect her. That was easy. Of course, I didn't say what I was thinking. I'm not going to say anything that's going to get me into trouble. But I'm glad. Glad? About what? I was nervous that things progressed to this point because of a joke. But you're so much cuter than I ever imagined. And if this is how it's going to be, I think it's going to go well. A joke? Why don't you tell me what you're talking about? Oh no. I take back what I said. It seems I've said something that's going to get me in trouble. Afterwards, what happened was... 
I thought you were a good, sincere person. Yuka scolded me until the next morning. But I'm glad that's all she did. I swore in my heart to never say anything stupid again. A year later, we were getting married. Even after she found out the truth, she didn't make me move out, and we kept living together. And as we became closer, I proposed. And now we are having our wedding. And now, my goal is to become a man worthy of her. Nina, will you marry me? On this fateful day, I, Shunsuke Komine, proposed to this girl that I've been dating for 12 years, Nina Kurahashi. Using my three months worth of salary, I bought Nina an engagement ring. Things were supposed to go smoothly. Pretty sure there's no way she turns me down, but still my nerves are on edge. <laughs> Sorry, Shunsuke. Marrying you is just... unthinkable. Huh? Uh, but we've dated for years already. I really think now's the time we settle down. <laughs> really never imagined you'd say that. You know, we're better off with this easygoing, casual kind of relationship. Did you honestly think I would marry an average guy like you? That can't be. You're lying. So tell me why. Why would you spend 12 years dating me? Uh, seriously? Well, dating you is just kinda convenient for me, right? Huh? Uh, convenient? Yep. You were real convenient in keeping those pesky guys away from me. The moment I say there's someone I've been dating for a long time, they instantly back away. Oh, plus, it was all easygoing and fun for me as you weren't taking that keen. In fact, I was cheating on you. Nina, you were cheating on me? Since when? Hold on, you're doing this till now? Since then? <laughs> oh, I've been doing this all along. See, you're the first one I dated, but I'm currently going out with, let's say, more than ten boys. <laughs> this can't be true. That means you cheated on me more than ten times. Yep. Wow, so you really missed this. <laughs> Props to you, though. You kind of have a knack for this. Oh, shoot. Yuki's texting me, so I probably need to wrap this up, okay? Hold on. Don't tell me it's Yuki you're cheating with. You son of a... Of all the people, you went for my friend? Um, yeah. Got any probs with that? Yeah, a crapload of problems. You leave Yuki alone. Say no and I'll break up with you. Fine with me. <laughs> okay, how about we break up right now? Huh? Yes. Didn't you say you want to break up? I just gave you my go signal, so... Ugh, in all honesty, I always thought of breaking up with you if ever the topic of marriage comes up. How could you? I've even spent 12 years dating you. You're now saying it like it's all nothing? That's love for you. Well, it's not like you'd know, as you only dated me. <laughs> Oops. So, could I, like, get that engagement ring as a souvenir at least? Huh? You're crazy! You know Yuki says he's struggling with money these days. We could sell that anyways, so I can fetch him something good, right? You gotta be kidding me. Do you think I'll easily give up after hearing all that? That's a bummer. Well, suit yourself then. See you around, Shunsuki! That's it? All of my 12 years down the gutter? Nina simply vanished right in front of my eyes, leaving me all alone with the restaurant bill, as well as this engagement ring without its befitting partner. After that, I just paid the bill and left. I walked towards the beach, bringing along this dumb engagement ring with me. I chose the spot to take a breather, but this beach? <sighs> the times I spent my summers together with Nina here? <sighs> Why did I come here of all places? One that reminds me of her. Yeah, I probably want to calm my nerves down first. I'm a rest here for a while. Excuse me, what brings you here? N nothing really, just felt like it. Okay then, I'm fine by that. Just don't do anything rash, understood young man? Um, do I look like someone who would do that? Yes, you do. You had that 
It's the end of the world for me impression on you. Frankly, I was worried and wanted to check up on you. Sorry about that. Really appreciate the concern. If you feel like sharing, I'm always here to lend an ear. You see, even just talking to a stranger could take quite the burden off you. <laughs> right, is that so? It is. Look, you should try to rely on others during bad times, okay? Okay, thanks so much. Wow, this auntie is actually pretty nice. Now that I've noticed it, she kind of resembles someone. And so I shared my circumstances, which led to all of what happened up to this day, to a complete stranger. I see. You're still young, but you've really been through enough, huh? Up until earlier, I thought my own experience was not that big of a deal compared to others. Is that so? Well, at least you've gained some profoundities surrounding life. Isn't that good? <laughs> yeah. Can't say for sure that I'll be moving forward from here on, though. However, hearing that is a bit better than being all gloomy, I guess. That is true. Feeling blue all the time is just going to eat much of your time. Plus, you're still young. You've got more way ahead of you. I agree. Thank you so much. I've decided. Now's the time to man up. Time to part ways with this. I'll just get attached to this thing, so... Goodbye, Nina! Wait, hold on! Oh man, what's the matter? I was ready to go for it. No littering! Look, I understand you want to cast those feelings away, but you can't just throw things into the ocean, as it'll destroy the environment! Uh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, I just got all worked up and was feeling like throwing it away. Still, I want to get rid of this really bad right now. Yeah, right. Do you want to have this? I mean, of course, if it's alright with you. Uh, why me? Consider this as my gratitude for listening to my story earlier. This might even fetch a price if you put it up for sale. Oh, I can't possibly accept this! Oh no, please! I'd be more than glad if you take it. Plus, I'm afraid I'll just get attached to it. I'm better off without that ring. Okay, I understand. Then, I'll give something to return this favor. Come here tomorrow at 2 p.m. Hmm? What do you need me for? Why, you'll see! Uh, huh. Okay, got it. So I ended up coming to this place after giving the engagement ring to an old lady which was a total stranger to me. Unexpectedly, it was all thanks to that old lady that I was able to not dwell on the thoughts surrounding my breakup with Nina. Well, I followed her instructions and came all the way down here. Really no clue what was going on. She should be here any second now, but I still can't see her anywhere. I wonder why she would want me here. Huh? Yasuhara? Why are you here? Aoi Yasuhara. She's a co-worker of mine. Looks, personality, work, you name it. There's not a single flaw that you could find on her. And she's easily loved by all. She's just perfect. A lot of my seniors have confessed to her, but all they got was a simple rejection. Uh, what a coincidence. Mom told me to go here. Didn't know you were here, Komine. Um, did you just say... By any chance, did your mom mention anything about meeting a broken-hearted dude yesterday? Oh, wow, you caught on fast. So this means... You were that guy, Komine? Yeah, seems so. Still, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. What a twist of fate, right? Yep. However, kinda makes me wonder why your mom, Yasuhara, sent you here. Have any ideas? Oh, she probably thought it'd be less awkward getting your worries off your chest if it was with someone your age. <laughs> She's like that. Right. If it wasn't someone I knew, I would commend her for this fine play. However, it's Yasuhara. This makes things seriously awkward. Sorry about this, Yasuhara. I had no intentions of getting you involved in a fiasco <laughs> like this. Mm-hmm. No need to be sorry. I really don't mind this. Better to get your woes off your chest by speaking with others. You'll feel great. Spoken like two peas in a pod. She really does resemble her mom. Thanks. And just so you know, I already shared my story with your mom yesterday, and she was kind enough to lend an ear. Talking to her made me feel a lot better. That's why you don't have to feel obliged to cheer me up. I'll do just fine. I see. Glad to hear that. But like, we're here already. I want to chat for a while. Hmm. I guess so. Sure, no problem for me. But how about you, Yasuhara? Huh? Me? Yeah. Wouldn't your boyfriend get angry if he finds out that you're all alone with another dude like me? Um, <laughs> I'm not dating anybody, so... 
Ah, but I've heard from my senpai that he confessed and then you turned him down because you said that you already had a boyfriend. That's the easiest way of turning them down. I see. Being popular is kind of stressful, huh? Any reason you're not dating anyone yet? Someone really pretty like you wouldn't even have problems picking one, so to speak. So yeah, I just don't want to date someone I don't like. That makes sense. So, do you have someone you like right now? Hmm, kind of. And you, Komine? Uh, I mean, I just got off a relationship, so I don't have someone I'd find interesting right now, probably. I pretended to be strong earlier, but I can't say that I'm completely over it. I don't blame you. You even dated her for 12 years, right? Yeah, you heard about this from your mom? I guess so. But I remember you saying you've been seeing someone for a while, right? Back then, during the welcome party for the new hires. Along with that, word got around that you've been dating her for years, as there were also a number of folks who'd start chatting about that topic. Oh, that one. Those dudes kind of joked around that I should be marrying her already. Yep. That topic got passed around during the party, so I totally thought you'd marry her either way. Yep. Sadly, I thought so too. Oh, sorry about that. I was trying to cheer you up, but ended up reminding you of those again. Uh, no, that was on me. I wasn't trying to dampen the mood or anything. Komine, I think it's better if you start dating someone again. I mean, you'll probably get more cheery soon, right? Huh, I suppose so. The problem is that I'm not attractive unlike you, Yasuhara. I mean, that can be a good idea, but finding one? Good luck to me. You really think so? I bet there's someone close to you that finds you interesting. Like, maybe at our company. <laughs> nah, that's absurd. My looks are kinda average, plus the things I do in the company is the least you'd call cool or impressive to others. Hmm. <laughs> you could be a bit dull at times. Probably that's the first in your to-do list if you want to be popular with others, so... She's smiling right now, but she still gives off an intimidating vibe. Uh, right. I'm not sure how I should be more aware, but I promise I'll try. In that case? I can hang out and tag along with you until you understand the way to a woman's heart. How's that sound? Um, why do we need to do that? And who knows? It probably will be a refreshing change of pace for you. Oh, that's considerate of her. Yasuhara's just so sweet. She even pays attention to something you might consider trivial. You might be onto something. Well then, thanks. I'll take you up on that. Oh, by the way, I got sidetracked after meeting you unexpectedly. And so I forgot to give you this. Here, it's from my mom. Hmm? What's this money for? Guess it's from selling the ring you gave her. Mom says you barely held on to this ring before handing it to her. As such, Mom insisted you take the money, and she couldn't possibly accept something that expensive. You go eat something tasty! It'll cheer you up, she <laughs> says. Aw, please tell your mom I really appreciate the kind gesture. Really, thank you so much. Okay, consider it done. So, looks like we're on a roll today. We'll be having heaps of fun with this. But technically, that money was originally yours. You sure you're fine sharing that with me? <laughs> yep. Money I was simply thinking of throwing away a day ago. After that, we had all sorts of fun as the two of us went together to a movie theater, a restaurant, etc. Phew, that was really fun. Thanks for keeping me company today. No need to thank me. Glad you had a breather after a while. I mean, if you're okay with me, I'll be more than happy to hang out. Just hit me up. And, uh, just to remind you, I'm doing this so you'd understand women better, Komine. Don't get any of those silly ideas, get me? Yeah, of course, I get it. Anyways, thanks. Oh, you still don't get it after all these, huh? Uh, oops, did I do something wrong? Then, hanging out together somewhat became our frequent routine. Whoa. I never expected you'd know such trendy spots, Komine. Oh, I kinda wanted to spoil and cheer, you know, her up with such places, so I did my research. Look, you can't just talk about other girls aside from the one in front of you. That merits a minus 50 points from you. <sighs> At this point, I'll be doing this for the rest of my life. Like, that means you want to hang out with me for the rest of your life? Okay, probably plus 30 points for that. Huh? Why? Okay, I changed my mind. Minus 30 points. This is hard. After spending some time hanging out with Yasuhara, I was able to smoothly move on from Nina. 
Furthermore, on the other hand, I really came to enjoy this sort of casual vibe when talking with Yasuhara. Just way back then, I was dealing with these painful memories. Huh, was that really this naive? Ah, this one's really good! You wanna try, Komine? Here, say ah! Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm good. Really not that hungry, so I'm a pass. Uh, minus a hundred points! I can't do that! Hmm? Why? Look, Yasuhara, you have someone else you like, right? I said I wasn't dating anyone, but things like that might be a bit awkward, you know? That's... Uh, minus 10,000 points for you! Do you really think I'll do this to a guy I do not like? Huh? What are you... ing <sighs> for, you dummy? So, I'll be honest with you. See, I liked you from the very beginning, Komine. Nah, you've gotta be kidding me. Why would someone like you, Yasuhara, like me? Ugh, maybe your memory's a bit fuzzy, but let me do you a favor on this. Back then, when we just entered the company, they had a party for us new hires, remember? Right, I do remember. It was the first time we chatted together, too. Yep, then there was the supervisor of ours who sort of got wasted, and things went haywire from there. During that time, you casually joined in and saved me. Yeah, I remember having to deal with that mess. Done. That's the reason why I fell in love with you. Hmm? That's it? <laughs> yes, that's it. No wonder. You're really slow, Komine. That was the first moment I thought you were all nice and caring, Komine. However, I gave up at first because you brought up the story that you'd already had a girlfriend. Still, I was kind of interested in you, and I just couldn't keep my eyes off you. Hold on, that means the person she liked before? She's referring to me? Sorry, I'm slow and dull when it comes to these. Yep. But still, you chose to like someone who's that, like me, and I really appreciate this. So, frankly enough, I like you too, Yasahara. See, you're just pretty sweet, even being really attentive to others. I mean, it's someone like me asking you, but will you be my girlfriend? Wait, um, you're okay with me? Yep, you're the one I want. Ah, plus 10,000 points! You passed with flying colors! So, I hope we'll stay beside each other from now on. Yeah, of course we will. Things were about to flop for a seriously dull, slow dude <laughs> like me, but seeing this... I'd say my next relationship will probably work out. After two weeks, I've been dating Yasuhara for a while, and so it was time for her to at least introduce me to her mom, which was in fact the cupid behind our love story. Oh, Komine! It's good to see you again! Hello, good evening. Before anything, I just really want to thank you for that recent thing. And, uh, it may seem weird saying this, as you've just helped me when I was in such a pinch a few weeks ago, but I've come here to introduce myself once more, as I am now going out with your lovely daughter. Oh dear, that isn't weird at all. Huh? Aren't you a bit surprised? Why? I've known all along that Aoi here liked you, when I met you by the beach. What? what? Um, what's going on, Mom? Seriously, I just wanted to help someone you said was grieving at the moment. I earnestly went there just for that. Really, Mom? Why were you familiar with Komine in the first place? Oh, honey, you blabbered non-stop about Komine when we had our chit-chat surrounding your company. Plus, I figured out he's the one from those company outing pics you showed me. Mom, you could have told me beforehand about that. If I knew I was meeting him, I would have put more effort in wearing makeup, plus choosing a bit fancier dress too. Well, it's more romantic if you had no idea who's meeting who, right? Yeah, I guess so. Wow, you caved in pretty fast. <laughs> but honestly, I owe you an earnest thank you. Plus, it was even all thanks to you that I met your lovely daughter. Oh dear, that's really sweet of you. See, I wish you were this honest, Aoi. <sighs> Mom, shush, please. Okay, fine. So when are you two having kids? Mom, please. Not another word. No, oh, she's embarrassed. Maybe we should talk about having kids a different time. Right now, I just want to take things slow and spend more time with Aoi. Is that so, dear? Oh, oh well. Really, Mom. Shunsuki. You guys are taking this joke too far. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. 
all's well that ends well. I'd say we'll probably continue learning more about each other and even get along well as a couple from here on. And by the way, Nina really did overblow things after all that fiasco. Heck, she was even dating married guys. And as a result, she got sued for adultery and she's now being ordered to pay up in monetary damages. Man, I want to get married too soon. One day, while I was drinking with my colleague, the dude's married, I casually blurted out what I had in mind for a long time. Hmm, well then, I know some really good-looking demure girl. Shall I introduce her to you? Eh? Uh, really? I mean, sure thing, dude. Then I'm gonna try calling him for you. Afterwards, the one who appeared right before me was... Siramine! Is something wrong, Endo? Um, no, there's nothing wrong at all. <laughs> this really beautiful receptionist that's pretty popular in our company. This girl's a junior of mine. And one who hates my guts. I'm now Yuki Endo, a 27-year-old white-collar worker. I've been immersed with work lately, which leads me to still not having a girlfriend. I'm gonna hit that mid-aged 30-year-old mark soon. However, thanks to my co-worker Hayama, I've been able to start dating and fulfill that long-desired dream of mine, which is having a girlfriend. She's Ichika Shiramine, two years younger than me. And yeah, there's something troubling her at this moment. Oh, she's already here for today. Morning, Shiramine. Good morning. Weather's nice today, huh? Yep, I agree. So how should I describe her? Shiramine was kind of cold towards me before we started dating. It was more of her attitude, too, when we chatted outside work. It's not really, it's because we're work buddies. She treats the other male employees differently. Shiramine often nods and smiles at them. Even though we're dating already, she still sort of keeps that cold attitude towards me. Hmm? A line message from Shiramine. You have one line message from Shiramine. We're dating, but please keep this as a secret to our other colleagues. Uh, at least she's aware that we're dating. She's garnered a reputation as the number one beauty inside the company, even earning that goddess receptionist nickname. I know, it's a privilege dating her, but yeah. Oh, man. Makers can't be choosers, or as the saying goes. So, you getting along with Shiramine? Eh, she's kind of cold towards me as always. I have no idea why. Hey, we're talking about a confession from our work's one and only Ichika Shiramine, right? You ought to be more confident in yourself. Here's Hayama, the one who introduced her to me. Of course, I owe him a lot. I'm even trying as much as I can to make the relationship work. I do remember getting I want to go out with you from Shiramine. Sure, I'm happy and we're now dating, but still, I have yet to hold hands with her. We went out for two dates during our days off. Both were just the same watching movies, and then straight to dinner, as if ending the day on a low note. I mean, come on, we're a couple. I want to have a date that normal lovers do, or something like that, but I can't afford to be depressed about such things. This weekend was scheduled to be our third date. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, not at all. I just arrived too. I'm going to prove myself a man today and lead her at my pace. Surely I'm gonna ankle up my status as her lover. Firstly, I gotta be closer to her. This gap ain't gonna do. So hey, Shiramine, you wanna hold hands? Of course, if that's okay with you. We're holding hands? Yep. Are you uncomfortable with holding hands? It's not like I'm uncomfortable doing it or anything, but... Sorry, I think I'll need a pass on that for today. I see. Sure, maybe sometime soon. Huh? Like, she rejected me, but she's all red and blushing? Sure, Shirame is doing reception work, but I never have guessed someone like her is, in fact, an introvert, probably? Shirame, what kind of movies do you have for today? Uh, let me see. Oh, right! How about Kanon's rom com mangas, the movie? I saw a review saying it was the most popular for rom-com movies. Surely, a romance-oriented movie like this would get the ball rolling and make Shiramine excited. Hmm. That Godmother Part 1 
seems like a better choice. Let's watch that. Uh-huh. I'm fine with that, but are you into mafia-themed stories, Shiramine? Um, so, I simply went for it because it has the longest running time listed. Man, I can't decipher her criteria for choosing movies. Wait, she want to watch the movie with the longest running time? That means she want to avoid chatting with me as much as possible, right? So, my stories are kind of boring. Huh, just as I imagined. Still... Oh, her hobbies! Right! I can at least make that work! In addition to watching movies, I remember Shirimine saying she's into aromatherapy. Maybe talking about aromatherapy is gonna fire her up! And so, after the movie ended, Shirimine and I hailed by an aromatherapy specialty store. Whoa! So there are all sorts of essential oils! I didn't know that! Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I did not expect you'd be fascinated with essential oils, Endo. Um, is that so? Not sure of saying honestly, I just wanted to spark a fun combo with you is a good idea. Yeah, I might piss her off. See, aromatherapy is pomanto of aroma, fragrance, perfume, and therapy, remedy, cure, meaning such essential oils are used for healing and well-being. Smelling such scents that you love makes you feel relaxed and refreshed. Whoa, that's interesting. She took the bait. Of course, bringing up your hobbies is bound to make you talkative. <laughs> of course, choosing the best fragrances that suit your taste is for most. You can also try to mix them up depending on your current mood or feeling. Fascinating. I want to try choosing one for me, too. Do you have any suggestions, Shiramine? My suggestions? Thought that it's best to let someone who's knowledgeable choose for me. That would really do me a favor. Uh, remember what I said earlier? You should try and find out for yourself which kind of aroma you love. Get a subtle whiff from the tester, and go ahead and decide whether it's good or not. Wow, that was ice cold. Huh? Um, really? I was kind of planning to go for your suggestions. For starters, I'd suggest refraining from mixing them up together. An aromatherapy candle should do the trick for you. Oh, if you're uncomfy with fires, then there are essential oil diffusers you can also opt for. Uh, choosing what I want, so... I'm not particularly picky about these fragrances. Nor likes nor dislikes, so... Not an avid user of perfumes and deodorants, so... Uh? What's the matter, Endo? Um... Yeah, I just remembered something. That can't be... So was it about that all along? Is it... my B.O.? Do I smell horrible? So the reason why she wouldn't even dare hold my hand... Everything till now all came to me. Judging by how Shirmani loves the fragrances from these essential oils, I'd assume my body overs are just too unbearable for her. That's why she keeps a distance from me. No, not just these. I'm missing something here. That's it! She's probably using me as a fence to fend off her suitors? I see. So why she chose to watch a long feature film, to put it simply, she didn't want to talk with me. It's my body odor's unbearable. Maybe that's it. If you want to fend off men through your boyfriend, this would do the trick. Obviously, you're bound to repel women, kids, and even animals. Really anything. With this freaking stinking smelly boyfriend of yours. To cut it short, Shiramine just wanted to bury her surrounding her. And so that's the reason she lately dated me. As goddess receptionist Shiramine maybe was such a person. Whenever she walks along the streets, I bet she'd get hit on obviously by boys. And it wouldn't be a stretch to say even by girls and, yeah, by animals. As long as anybody fits that mid-aged, stinky, single male category, she'll sure go for them. I really enjoyed our date today. R really Is something bothering you, Endo? No, nope, nothing at all. Well then, I guess I'm gonna part ways here. Endo? As a result of that fiasco afterwards, I got really afraid of getting near Shiramine. Maintaining as much safe distance from her as possible. Her interactions were somewhat limited to line. 
as I wanted to avoid running into her work. Still, I didn't mind her being cold at all. This kind of relationship would probably be best for both of us. Plus, she really seems to be irritated at me. If things continue this way, sooner or later, we'd probably just break up. And then finally, Shirimine met with me. I fully prepared myself for the moment, donning on that deodorant and gargled some mouthwash. With this, I was ready to meet her. It's been a while since I last met you, Endo. Yeah, I guess so. So, what are we talking about? Actually, I got these papers for us. A marriage intention form? Isn't this about breaking up? Huh? What gave you the idea we're breaking up? I mean, look, Shiramine, you don't even really love me, right? Huh? We never held hands since dating. Also, you were sort of distant towards me. Um, that was... I'm not blaming you or anything. Everyone's head over heels for you as their goddess receptionist. And of course, I'm not completely oblivious to that fact. That's why even dating you just for a while really made me experience something truly wonderful. Okay, then. Your name here, please. And oh, your signature, too. Look, did you even listen to what I said now? Yes, I heard it all. For now, I think there's some sort of misunderstanding here, but really, we should go ahead and hand out this marriage intention form first. And foremost. Uh, no, we should first tackle these misunderstandings at hand first, right? I... I love you, Endo. My attitude towards you may have led to misunderstandings. I want to apologize for these. I've never met someone who was this nice to me, Endo. So why maintain a distance when you're with me? Because I really feared falling in love with you. Much more than it is now. After listening to Shiramine, it just seems that she was hiding her true colors. Of course, even going so far as to handing those marriage intention forms and calling it a joke, I guess that's something you just couldn't casually say out loud. You really like me? So much you'd marry me? Yes, these are my honest feelings. I want to be together with you all my life. So a few days later, I sent the marriage intention form along with Shiramine. I'm, I mean Ichika at the city hall while on lunch break. And that's how it went. Frankly, she was a late bloomer from the beginning, I guess. Uh-huh, that's how it is. But yeah, forget that. Congrats on your wedding. And by the way, looks like Hayama only introduced me to Ichika upon her request. She was kind of embarrassed if it got leaked out, so Hayama kept his mouth zipped. It's just, yeah? I mean, we already got the marriage intention forms handed out, but still, we haven't held hands. Not even once. Even till now. Dude, are you that obsessed holding hands with her? <laughs> She's really doing her best, so you can at least cut her some slack. You know, take time to know her better. Setting that aside, Ichika, her replies are a puzzle itself that leaves you thinking. You see, there was this time where she wanted to live together soon after our marriage, and so I suggested moving to my place, which was near a company, where... Your room won't do now, Yuki. Huh? Why? Um, so, my condominium's more accessible than yours. And then, there was a time I really wanted to do something about my body odor. I really want to try using perfumes. You know, just like Hayama. So yeah, any opinions? Perfume? You can't do that. It would just ruin your simplistic, down-to-earth, pleasant sight of yours now, Yuki. And that's how it went. It's as if she willingly just changed the subject and dodged my question. <sighs> Fine, I'll follow Hayama's advice. At least cut her some slack and dedicate some time to know her better. Now, Yuki, I'm gonna prep our dinner. You can go ahead and unwind for a bit. Maybe watch a TV program or two. Sure, gotcha. That same day after handing out the marriage intention forms at the city hall, we soon headed for Ichika's house where I stayed. I'll be moving out by next month and from there on, we'll be living together with her there. I'll take care of your jacket then. Thanks. Also, I'll be prepping our food. No peeking, please. Huh? Why? You seeing me cook is kind of embarrassing. Okay, later then. Anyways, wow. 
It is really spacious in here. Everything is all neatly organized. Then there's this pleasant fragrance from her essential oils. She even framed our first selfie together. Honestly speaking, I didn't feel that we were a married couple at all. She is shy and a late bloomer too. It's probably best that I strive to understand her better from this day on. I was optimistic, sort of laid back with these things, and then... Ugh, I'm such a disaster. Hmm? She's saying something? I heard a series of heavy breathing coming from the kitchen. Or so, it became more intense as seconds passed by. She said no peeking. I can't help but just be worried about what was happening. So I opened the kitchen door and... <sighs> it's packed with Malyuki's scent. Uh, I didn't know what the heck was going on. However, I did spot that Ichigo wore my jacket and was sniffing it all while cooking our meals. You peeked, even though I told you not to. What? Look, I was really worried about you. I can't believe you did that. Didn't I tell you I'd be embarrassed if you saw me here? Um, seriously, I'm the one who's embarrassed right now. It was too much to handle at the moment. Both of us were really embarrassed to say the least. Uh, that was something, huh? I could have never guessed you'd be someone to have a smell fetish, Ichika. Oh, I didn't want you to know about this. I really didn't want to know any of this at all. But now that it now's out in the open, I can't just leave this topic alone. At any rate, now it's all clear that Ichika was really fond of my scent. So the reason you were maintaining a distance from me was... Because... Whenever you're near, I would get lightheaded to the point that I even couldn't walk straight. What do you mean by that? Obviously, that means I really love your scent. Whew, glad to hear that. I don't think I can get over this easily if it was the opposite. And the reason you chose the movie with the longest running time was... Uh, it was dimly lit, so I kind of wanted to enjoy your scent without being caught. So that time you stopped me from wearing perfume, too, was... Because it'd be a waste if you mask your scent from wearing such perfume. That means... So you kept that all to yourself for fun, huh? Hold on. So the reason why you didn't choose my place was... That's just too much! Being shrouded with such scent, oh, I'd be pregnant! By the way, did you not learn things from Health Ed and PE? Yeah, just saying... Things like body odor wouldn't get you pregnant. There's nothing really positive I could sift through this mess. Okay, first things first, could I have my jacket back? Nope. It's already steeped in all of your lovely scent. Now I'd return this back. I mean, you could, like, smell me directly and... What was that again? Oh crap, forget I said that! Truly, we had such an option, too! Right, right. We're ready, husband and wife, too. There's no need to hold back. Then Ichika hugged me tightly, more so happily. <laughs> the scent, it's all for me. Uh, so see, can we start this by holding hands? Nuh-uh, not letting you go all my life. Uh, oh, man, that's so cute. W wait. So, do you seriously like me? <laughs> so silly. Of course, I love you. Looking at this current situation, I think you just love my set more than me myself. Obviously, I love your personality. Looks too, of course. Is she serious? Tell you the truth, at first I was really worried. I thought you were going to despise me after showing my true self. No, I would never hate you. I guess it's just... I'm kind of embarrassed. What are you embarrassed about? Uh, yeah. I'm a bit conscious about my own B.O. Be confident. You're really one who possesses a particular scent. Yeah. Strangely enough, I'm not happy hearing those. Listen, I'm really fond of your scent now, Yuki. R really? Uh, but, like, you're totally weirded out hearing this. Right? So, that distinction between what's normal and not? Yeah, I'm just utterly confused. 
wait here for a minute. I'm just going to wrap my brains out. I was stuck in a daze thinking about this. But Shirimine loves me after all. So there shouldn't be any problems at all. So I thought... Um, I'm honestly sorry about that. Even going as far to trick you into marriage. You're sweet and dependable. I really, really love you. I already thoroughly got that one. Still, I'm a bit embarrassed, but there's nothing left to apologize for. Thank you for understanding. Now that brings us to... I can go all out, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Ichika! You're too... strong! This long-awaited day right before me. A wedding night shared with you now, Yuki. <laughs> Give me a sec! At least let me take a shower! What are you talking about? Don't be such a killjoy! I'm gonna dim the lights, okay? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Ichika! There's no real way explaining what happened after that. But if I were to describe it in a word, it was simply... Awesome. It only took a single night to get to know the peculiarities of my partner and accept her for who she was. Two days later, I had this convo with Hayama during our lunch break. Recently, Ichika having that healthy bumps the word around the office. Every day's bliss that you're married, huh? Yeah. Now that I think about it, aren't you guys holding a marriage ceremony too? That would be great. I mean, she's just beautiful and even does great with the household chores. However, there's just this particular hobby she's really into, and being okay with that is still sort of... What particular hobby? Um, yeah, never mind. That reminds me, my wife's kind of got this fetish for her veins. She's really bugging me every day asking me to show my veins. Wow, that's news to me. <laughs> Seems such things kind of exist whichever home you belong to. And whether one's partner does approve of them is yet another question that follows. Oh, Naoki, so you were here. Huh? Ichika, what's wrong? I just have matters to attend to. Right, I'm gonna go on ahead. See you later then. I'll leave just the two of you alone. So Ichika, what was that business you had to attend to? Whoa! Hurry, we don't have time for this over there. Over where? To the locker room. Huh? Afterwards, me and Ichika headed for the changing room where she pushed me towards the locker and jammed us together inside. <sighs> Being inside your locker, brimming with your scent, the best feeling ever. Jeez, I even told you before. You can't just go barge into my locker. Sorry, I wasn't able to hold it in until home. <laughs> just a little bit more. Man, what can I do? Just a little bit, okay? At first, I really thought she loathed me, but turns out I was wrong. Yeah, my current married life's a bit different from what I imagined, but each day's just exciting, so I'm not complaining. I'm gonna enjoy spending each day with a spoiled, clingy Ichika from here on. Surely so. Kenshin, are you done yet? One moment. I just need to send this email, and then we can go. Okay, hurry up. My name is Kenshin Nagasawa. I'm an office worker for an IT company. I've been with the company for five years, and it's a busy but rewarding life contributing to society. Sorry for the delay, Mitori. Uh huh, let's go already. I'm hungry. Not only is my work life progressing smoothly, but so is my love life. Mitori works in the same company as me, and we've been dating for about half a year. Because we were dating as co workers, it was a little awkward for everyone at first, but Midori was easily accepted due to her friendliness. On the other hand, I still get jealous looks from others. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. She is a very attractive person. I feel like eating Italian today. Okay, what about the place we visited last month? That restaurant was quite good. Uh, I want to go somewhere new. Hmm, I wonder if there are any Italian restaurants nearby. Let me look it up. All right, please hurry. I didn't realize it until we started dating, but Midori is quite childish. I suppose it's a good sign that she feels at ease around me. I'm not particularly bothered by it. We decided to go to the Italian restaurant I found. That lady on the floor over there, isn't that Koga-chan? 
You're right. Let me go check on her. Huh? Why? Because she seems like she needs some help. We can't just leave her there, right? Miss Koga? Are you alright? Mr. Nagasawa, I'm sorry. My heel got caught and broke. This is Kanade Koga. She's plain and a little clumsy, but she's a good junior who works hard. What happened? I attempted to avoid a bicycle that suddenly charged at me, which resulted in this. Ah, I see. That's unfortunate. Will gluing it suffice for the time being? Hmm, I'm not sure that will work. Alright, wait here for a moment. I hurry to the nearest convenience store. Here, please, use this. Wearing sandals with a suit may be a little embarrassing, but it's better than tripping and getting hurt, right? Yes, thank you very much. Um, the money. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh-huh. Please, return home safely. Yes, I'll definitely be more cautious around bicycles the next time. Miss Koga deeply bowed and excused herself. Sorry, Midori. Thanks for waiting. Took you long enough. Why did you bother helping her? Talking to another girl on our date like that? You're the worst. What? It wasn't like that. It's natural to want to help someone you know who is in need, right? No, it's not. Ugh, I can't do this anymore. Let's break up. What? You've got to be kidding. Why so sudden? Why? Because I'm annoyed. Besides, I was planning to break up with you soon anyway. So it all works out nicely. Hold on. Wait a second. Nope. Bye, Kenshin. No way. We've been together for six months. How can you just leave me like that? And just like that, my six-month relationship abruptly ended. But things didn't stop there. The next day... Hey, I heard you cheated. You're the absolute worst. I had no idea you were like that. Hang on, I didn't do that. So you're saying Miss Kurobe lied? She said she broke up with you because she saw you kissing another woman. She was in tears. What? That never happened. Midori began spreading false rumors about me that painted me in a bad light. Many people believed Midori because she had a good outward appearance, and so I was labeled the worst cheater. After that, I found it difficult to stay in the company, and voluntarily resigned. Is it true, Mr. Nagasawa, that you're leaving? Yeah, I just turned in my resignation. No way! But you didn't cheat, did you? Don't let rumors like that get to you, please stay! Thanks for worrying about me, but I'll be fine. I'm glad that you at least believe me. But I'm not okay with it. I see. So, what are your plans for the future? I haven't decided yet, but I was considering freelancing as an IT engineer. I see. Alright then, I guess I have to make up my mind as well. Hmm? Two months had passed since my last conversation with Miss Koga, and the time had come for me to leave. Good job with the Pharaoh speech, Mr. Nagasawa. Uh-huh. Thank you. What the... Why are you also quitting? I was so surprised to see you standing next to me for the farewell meeting. It's nothing, really. I just got tired of everyone believing Miss Korobe over you, Mr. Nagasawa. Besides, I have a plan, so I'll be fine. Huh? What do you plan to do next? I'm going to start an online clothing store. That's incredible. You're going to start your own business. Yes, why don't we do it together, Mr. Nagasawa? Me? But I know nothing about clothing. I'd like you to be in charge of developing the store's website, so it's okay if you don't know anything yet. Besides, you're the reason I ended up quitting, so please assist me. Uh, <laughs> you make it hard to reject. All right then, I'll do my best to help. In the end, Miss Koga and I ended up co-founding an online clothing company. Since then, Miss Koga and I began preparing for the business's opening. I finished the website, Miss Koga. Please, take a look at it when you have the chance. Thank you very much. It's been a month since we quit our job but things have been going surprisingly well. At first, I was concerned because I didn't know how to purchase items and I didn't have any fashion sense, but Miss Koga asked me to leave it to her since she had connections. So I decided to leave it to her. As a result, things progressed quickly and the product lineup far surpassed my expectations. In our previous company, I was in charge of teaching Miss Koga, so we were able to work together in perfect harmony. Ah, oh, it's difficult to make a good impression with just clothes. Maybe we should include more images? 
Then should I contact the model we hired the last time? No, I think someone of a different stature would be better. I have a friend who used to be a model. I'll ask them. I've been thinking about this since I started working with you. It's amazing how many people you know in this field. Oh, I only have connections because of a previous job. Are you referring to your previous part-time job? You joined the company immediately after graduating from junior college, right? It's not the same as working part-time, but it's something like that. There are people I knew from high school. Are you that interested in me? I guess I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. You are the only co-worker I work with. Oh, that's unexpected. Since the incident with Miss Kurabe, I've had the impression that you were distancing yourself from women. Ah, uh, that might be true. But it's different with you, Miss Koga. You were the only woman who ever believed in me. <laughs> Is that so? Then I'll tell you. Actually, I'm... Huh? What's wrong? Uh, sorry, I just had an idea, so change of plans. Please wait a week. As for the model we were discussing, I'll be choosing someone else. Um, I'm not sure I understand, but I got it. A week passed while Miss Koga frantically prepared everything. Mr. Nagasawa, I'll be heading out first, so please come to the studio afterwards. Are we not going together? No, I still need to prepare a few things. Oh, okay. After that, I went to the studio photo shoot as directed by Miss Koga. I'm here for the photo shoot. Ah, Mr. Nagasawa, we've been expecting you. Right this way. We'll be taking photos shortly, so please wait here. Okay, thank you very much. Huh? Miss Koga isn't here. She left before me, so she should be here. Excuse me, is Miss Koga here? Yes, please do not worry. She appears to be getting ready right now. Oh, is that so? Thank you. Then may I greet the model before the shooting begins? Um, that is a little... Huh? Don't tell me they haven't arrived yet. Uh, no, that's not it. They are still applying makeup and would prefer not to be seen. Furthermore, things are hectic before the shoot, so it is best to leave the greetings until everything is ready. What? Um, okay. I understand. I'm sure Miss Koga has already greeted them as a representative, so it should be fine. Besides, she did say the model was a friend of hers. We will begin shooting! It's starting. Uh, please excuse me. Yes, thank you. Oh, I just spoke with the model, and she says she's looking for her boyfriend at the moment. Why not try asking her out? Uh, I couldn't possibly do that to someone I'm doing business with. You'd be missing out. She's a former celebrity and very pretty too. Hmm, I'm not really interested in famous people or anything. And I doubt someone like that will ever pay attention to someone like me. Hmm, is that so? Ah, here she is. <gasps> you mean the model is Kana? Isn't she the legendary idol who quit right after graduating from high school? You appear to have no interest in entertainment, but you are familiar with Kana. Yes, I'd seen her on the news all the time, so even someone like me would be aware of her existence. Of course, is there anything else you've noticed? Hmm? Noticed? I thought she retired, so I'm curious why she's modeling for us. Uh, is that so? Kanade chan you poor thing. This was a complete failure. Well then, please observe to your heart's content. The shooting began, and my gaze was fixed on Kana. Oh, that's nice. Please, lower your shoulders a little. Okay. Amazing. They're breezing through it, but every image is stunning. I heard she retired about five years ago, but I feel like she looks even more gorgeous than before. The shooting ended in a flash. Oh, it's over. I should say hello to her. I can't find Miss Koga anywhere. I wonder what happened to her. For now, I should say hello. What do you think, Mr. Nagasawa? Has my image changed? Um, yes. I thought you were very cool. Thank you very much for today. Uh, don't tell me you don't recognize me. Uh, of course I do. You are Miss Kana, right? The air seemed to freeze as soon as I said that. Huh? I'm terribly sorry. Was I mistaken? You aren't wrong, but that's not it. Here you go, Kanada-chan. Your glasses. Uh-huh, thank you. Kanade, along with Miss Koga's glasses. Don't tell me. 
Kana is Miss Koga? Uh, you're slow. You look so different from your usual appearance. There's no way I'd recognize you. That's why I said you should tell him you'll be modeling. I thought this would have a greater impact. But it's all for nothing if he doesn't recognize you. Huh? You were aware as well? That's right, I was working with Kanade-chan to surprise you. So that's how it is. Oh man, the normally plain girl is a former idol, aka the Gap Moe plan has been ruined by your insensitivity, Mr. Nagasawa. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the strategy. I mean, we failed, but at least tell her your thoughts. She was modeling seriously. I was so surprised, and I think you're very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Also, thanks to you, I'm sure the clothes will become a hit. Well, that is important as well. But why would a once in a 500 year idol like you start a business with me? I'm sure you had plenty of others you could work with. Please have more confidence in yourself, Mr. Nagasawa. It's because it was you that I wanted to start a company. I don't recall doing anything noteworthy to make you want to do that, though. Uh, you most likely don't remember because it was something you consider normal. When I joined the company after graduating from junior college, I had never worked outside of the entertainment industry, so I was very worried about being able to do the job. Then you, who was in charge of instructing me, kindly guided me. But it was for work, so it's only natural. No, it wasn't. Many of the company's superiors simply left us to learn on the job. Ah, that's true. I think the person in charge of teaching me did the same. That's why I was drawn to Mr. Nagasawa, who had taught me so well. A few years later, when I finally mastered up the courage to ask you out for lunch, you were already dating Miss Kurobe. But the more I tried to give up, the more I fell in love with you. Even though you were on a date at the time, you helped me when my heels broke. It's impossible not to fall for you. Uh, isn't this starting to sound like a confession? No, oh, I give up. I'm just going to confess. Huh? When you decided to leave because of the rumors about you, I thought to myself, I can't pass up this opportunity. And that's why I suggested we start a business together. That's why it has to be you. I really love you, Mr. Nagasawa. Thank you. I can feel the sincerity in your confession. Really? Then... I didn't realize that was why you invited me. Now that I know this, let's work hard to build this company together. Ah, uh, doing our best for the company is important, but I have yet to hear your response to my confession. No, um, we're in the middle of the studio, and it's a little... Don't worry about that. Only my friends are here. That's why it's embarrassing! Huh? Until you accept my confession, I will continue to work with you as a serious model mode me. Um, that would be a little troubling. It's embarrassing, and I'll have trouble concentrating. It's settled then. Please let me know when you have your answer. This can't be! Prepare yourself, Mr. Nagasawa. I'm sure I'll continue to work with Miss Koga as she takes the initiative. And so, business began to run smoothly. And it's still a long story before we become lovers. As for Midori, unbeknownst to me, turns out she had a habit of getting involved with bad guys and even laid her hands on a married man. The company found out, and she had to leave as well. As for why I know this, I received an apology letter from a colleague who had doubted me, and I was also asked to return to the company because they were short-staffed. Of course, I ignored any requests to introduce Kana. Mamiya, let's go home together. An introverted, shy guy like me got a girlfriend. Her name is Anri Uchida, and she is popular. She's got an innocent personality, and is popular with both the boys and girls at school. Everyone says she's the hottest girl in school. No, there's somewhere I want to go today after school. I'll go home by myself. What? Can I go with you? I'm going to a maid cafe. A maid cafe? You mean the cafe where waitresses dress up like maids and wait on you? If maids weren't working there, it would just be a regular cafe. M Master, you're the best. What do you think? The cafe let me borrow it. <laughs> hey, is your heart racing a little bit? No. You write a heart with ketchup on an omelette, right? This will make it yummy. To be honest, I think Henri is cute. 
She's nice and always so positive about everything. But that's why I feel uncomfortable when I'm with her. I mean, the real reason we're dating is one week ago after school. Hey, Mamiya! Come play cards with us! Me? No, I'm okay. Come on, don't say that! Just one game? The popular boys made me play cards with them. And Honori was also there. Hey, Mamiya! You're playing with us? Yay! Oh, um, yeah. All right, let's get started. And he dealt the cards, but... My bad! <laughs> I forgot to tell you. There's a punishment for the loser. Get a hold of yourself, man! What? You didn't tell me it was that kind of game. But what's the punishment going to be? The loser and the person who finishes second to last has to go out for one month! I'm leaving. Oh, hey, wait, Mamiya! Are you really okay with this, Henri? If you lose, you'll have to date someone you don't even like for one month. Well, I guess not. That seems kind of fun too, you know? Fun? Think about it. If two boys finish last, they have to date each other. Oh yeah! I'm not gonna fall for you, you know? Come on, don't be shy! This is so stupid. Don't involve me in your stupid games. You might not lose. Why don't we just play one game? If there's even a little chance that I might lose, I'm not gonna play. Oh, so you're afraid of losing? <laughs> What? Oh, but they do say that he who runs fights another day, right? Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Nice, Mamiya. Okay, let's start! After all, I just have to win. I'll just make sure not to finish last or second to last. And I ended up finishing last. Oh, I'm second to last. Uh, okay, I guess you'll be my boyfriend for one month, Mamiya. And this is how I ended up dating the hottest girl in school for one month. It's just a game, so it's not like we're really dating. But it's annoying because of how popular she is. That day, we ended up walking home together, but... Now that I think about it, I haven't really talked to you before. Yeah. Hey, have you dated anyone before? No, not even once. Same. I've also never dated anyone before. Really? That's unexpected. I thought a lot of guys would ask you out. People say that to me a lot. But no, not at all. Has anyone asked you out before? Yeah, but I turn them down. Why? Because the first person you date stays in your memories forever, right? So I thought the first person I date is really important. She's given this some serious thought. Oh! Huh? What's wrong, Mamiya? Oh, no, nothing. She's so easy to talk to. I accidentally had a conversation with her. But I do understand one thing now. If her first real boyfriend is important, she does understand that this is a silly game. So this doesn't count. It is weird that we're dating, even though we both never dated anyone before, but... Hey, look at that! That guy next to that cute girl looks like a loser. Why aren't they even together? No, there's no way they're dating. Well, of course that's what it looks like. Hey, when do you want our next date to be? Henri? Oh, maybe we could have a date at home? I just want to be next to you all day. I'm so happy when I'm with you. Hey! Dang, that girl is really into him. This is no fun. Let's go. Oh, did she do that on purpose because of those guys? Um, Henri, what are you doing? I got annoyed. We're dating starting today, right? I can't just stand by and watch people make fun of my boyfriend. I don't understand. Huh? Understand what? No, it's nothing. Anyways... Where should we go on our date this Saturday? Sorry, I forgot. I had to get home early today. I'm leaving. Okay, give me your number. I don't have time for that. Bye! Oh, hey, wait, Mamiya! I don't understand any of this. After I got home, I thought about everything that happened today, which led to an unfortunate conclusion. But why did Henri do that before I left? For me? I don't know. First, today's card game was probably rigged. I actually knew that the two popular boys were cheating. They had intended to make me lose from the start. I pretended not to notice, but I guess they made a plan to make me and Henri get together. And Henri seems fine going along with it because it's just a stupid game. But it also seemed like she was actually mad today when those guys made fun of me. Henri probably is just a really nice girl. And if I'm gonna believe what she said today, then she wouldn't be okay going out with just anyone. But then why did she hatch a scheme with those guys to involve me in the card game? Does she just want to make fun of me? Does she want to dump me after making me fall for her? No, Henri wouldn't do that. 
She wanted to create an opportunity to spend time with me because she likes me? No, there's no way. The next day... Hey, why did you suddenly leave yesterday? Take out your phone! Huh? Why? Give me your number. Also, let's take a picture together. I'll make it my wallpaper. Okay, I'm taking it. It's just a game. She doesn't have to do any of this. But even after that, Henri kept talking to me. Is she having fun playing this game or something? To be honest, I don't want to take part in any of this. Also, do you have plans this Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, kind of. Okay, then what about next Saturday or Sunday? If you're free, let's go on a date. Hmm, um, this is just a game, so I don't think we need to do that, okay? And we just have to pretend like we're dating, so I don't think we need to be together 24-7. What? But that's boring. It's not about what's boring. Anyways, you don't have to try so hard pretending to be my girlfriend. Hey, what happened? Do you think he knows that we cheated? Henri, what are you gonna do? Maybe you should be honest with him. Yeah. A few days later, Henri stopped me as I was trying to go home. Hey, Mamiya. What? I was thinking I want to go on a date with you this weekend. I told you before. It's just a game, so we don't have to do that. I'll be waiting for you at the station at 1 p.m. Saturday. I'm telling you I'm not going. Why will you text me but not go on a date with me? When I was in middle school, a girl I liked asked me to meet her behind the school. And then she told me that she wanted to go on a date with me. But all the popular kids were hiding and listening the whole time. And they laughed at me, asking me if I seriously thought she could like you back. I did. I'm not her, you know. Really? I don't know. Even if you don't believe me, I'll be waiting. Do whatever you want. Yeah, I will. So, I'll be waiting. Henri is probably really planning on waiting for me at the station. I know she's not like the girl from middle school. So she should just leave me alone and get a good boyfriend. She really is a nice person. I know there's someone much better suited for her out there. It would be better if she hated me. And it was 1 p.m. on Saturday. It's raining. There's no way she's waiting for me in this rain. For some reason, I kept imagining Henri standing in the rain waiting for me. I thought there was no way, but I grabbed an umbrella and headed out. And in front of the station, Henri! Oh, Mamiya, you came. Why don't you have an umbrella? I thought that if I went to go get an umbrella, I might miss you, so... Hey, Mamiya, where are we going? My house. It's close to here. I couldn't leave her there all soaked like that. I still couldn't understand anything going on. I kept thinking, why would she go this far? I led Henri in and gave her a towel and a change of clothes and pointed her to the shower. While waiting, I thought hard. If she goes this far, maybe she really does like me. But I have no idea why she would even like me. Thanks for the shower and change of clothes. I feel so much better. Do you maybe live alone? Yeah. Why? Where are your parents? I told you before. Some stuff happened during middle school. I didn't want to go to the same high school close to my house, so I asked my parents if I could just move away. Oh, I'm sorry I made you talk about it. Don't worry about it. And I'll lend you an umbrella so you could go home. No, I'm staying here tonight. Hey, who told you you could do that? But I want to talk to you more. Uh... Hey, aren't you the one that said I could do whatever I want? Henry, why? Because I like you. <gasps> I mean, you know how I feel, right? How I feel about you. I don't. What could you possibly like about me? Hmm, I guess a lot. No way. No way you would like a loser <sighs> like me. I've never thought of you as a loser. I think you're cool and cute. You're wrong. Nothing like that. But when you were a freshman, a girl asked you out, right? Oh, um, why do you know about that? I just so happened to walk by. But you told her that you weren't going to date anyone. And when we had the same homeroom sophomore year, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. And you're always by yourself. If it was me, I couldn't handle that. But you always seemed unbothered by it. I told you you're wrong. I was just a lonely guy spacing out. But I know why you're like that. You're a really considerate person. And you're sensitive. And you went along with my lie. And I think you're a nice person. Your lie? Do you mean cheating during cards? So, you already knew. I thought if I just asked you out, you would turn me down. So I talked to the guys about it, and they told me they had a good idea. I'm sorry I tricked you like this, but I couldn't think of any other way. 
I thought if I at least had a chance for you to get to know me, I could try to get you to like me more. But it was wrong of me to do this. I'm sorry I tricked you just because I was afraid you would dump me. Especially since you've been hurt before because of a lie. No, it's okay. Now that you're being honest with me. But I don't think it's okay to lie and trick people. Do you think you could like me? It's not you. I just think there's someone out there more worthy of you. And I dumped her. I don't know if she was okay with it, but she went home. And on Monday... Mamiya, here's the clothes you lent me. Also, let's go on a date this weekend. What? But I dumped you. Come on, did you think it would be that easy? We'll go out as friends, not as boyfriend and girlfriend. You don't have a problem with that, right? Mamiya, we're sorry we tricked you, but Anami is serious about you. So please go on at least one date with her, please? You guys, the popular guys apologized to me for tricking me. I decided to go on a date with Henri begrudgingly since they asked. And on the day of the date, I was headed to our meeting spot in front of the station, but my feet felt heavy and I didn't feel good. It seems that the experience of being tricked and laughed at in middle school is still traumatizing me. Even if I know that Henri had nothing to do with it. And when I arrived at the station, Hey! Uh I told you to leave me alone! Come on! Just talk to me a little bit! Who is that with Henri? Guy hitting on her? I started heading towards her without thinking. Wait, weren't you here the other day when it was raining? What? Did your boyfriend stand you up? Am I right? <laughs> what a jerk. He's just gonna stand you up again. You'll have much more fun with me. That jerk is me. What do you want with my girlfriend? What? No, I'm... I don't want anything! <laughs> then leave, while I still let you. Uh, okay! Okay, he's gone. Hey! What's wrong? I just felt relieved and happy. Relieved? Happy? Because you came today. And even if you were lying, you said I was your girlfriend. Afterwards, we sat on a bench in front of the station and talked until we calmed down. I'm the one that said it's not okay to trick people. But uh, that's what I just did. Told that gross guy you were my girlfriend. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of what else to do. But I was happy you did. To be honest, I didn't feel too bad saying it. I wonder why. Now I just feel good. When I thought about it, I realized that there were two types of lies. A lie you say for yourself, and a lie you say for another person. But even if I say it was for someone else, it might have been for myself. Then we hit the arcade and karaoke and had a lot of fun together. I wonder when there was the last time I thought something was fun. But when I'm with Henri, even I have a good time. I'm probably starting to like her. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Me too. I had fun. Then, is it okay if I invite you again? Oh, um, yeah. If you're okay hanging out with me. Yay! And from then on, I started it opening up to Henri. Even at school, I started talking to a lot more people because of her. When I'm with Henri, I get weaker. No. I was a weak person to begin with. That day in middle school, I decided to be strong and ran away from developing any new relationships. Are you free this Saturday? No, I'm actually hanging out with some of the guys from Homeroom. Okay, but that's good, right? Recently, whenever I see you, you've been talking to someone or smiling. It's all thanks to you. But now I can't have you all to myself. When you said you had plans before, it was always with me. But if you're having fun, I guess that's not too bad. I like you. <laughs> right, right, you like me. Uh, huh? Uh, what did you just say? Yeah, so, to be honest... Uh, wait a second. I wasn't paying attention just now. Uh, say it again. I like you, so please be my girlfriend. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> really? For real? Yeah, really. Of course, I'm going to say yes. That's good, but can you let me go? No, I'm never letting you go again. There are a lot of twists and turns, but things worked out in the end. Now Henri and I are boyfriend and girlfriend for real. Mamia, <laughs> stop looking at old pictures and help me write our wedding invitations. Sorry, Henri. I'll help. And seven years later today, we're getting married.